the scales that we normally have to learn in order to play jazz. They include major scales, all the different types of minor scales, modes of these scales. This is a creative art form. You're also supposed to contribute and add to the vocabulary that musicians all over can draw on. That's how the wellspring of creativity continues to be nurtured. Let's talk about the idea of a scale. I don't even like to use the word scale because that implies a sequence. If you're tied to the idea of this particular sequence, then you're going to be mentally locked into that when you go to improvise. Instead, I like to use the term note set because what that gives you now is a collection of notes that you can utilize in different circumstances and you're not tied to any order. You can use this idea for any scale, even a major scale. If I think of this as a B-flat concert major scale, now I'm locked into the sequence, but if I just think of it as a collection of notes, as a note set, then I can do lots of different things. I can do whatever I want, put my notes in any order, any rhythm. So what you want to do is experiment with making up your own scales. Some people might say, what if I accidentally invent a scale that someone else already invented? Well, what would Miles Davis say? This is a scale I was working with yesterday. It goes like this. So that's a six note scale. If we start utilizing the modes of that scale, then we end up with a lot of other different sounds. Just the same way as if you took the modes of the major scale, you can also take the modes of a scale that you make up. So if we start with, it's a concert D flat. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So what if we go a half step down? All right, let's go a half step up from that, from that concert D flat. We'll start on concert D. Next mode. Next mode. Next one. So now we have not only a scale, but we also have all the modes of that scale. Then however you practice all your other scales, you can also practice this one the same way. You would play it in thirds. Awesome. So then you can start improvising and you can choose which mode of your scale you're going to focus on to create the tonality. Use that concert D as the focal point, then we would end up with uh, a dominant sounding mode that we can use to improvise on. What if you want to focus on another note as being the tonic of your scale? Now, what if you use the concert G flat as your tonic? Then you get kind of a minor tonality going. And that gives you the minor triad. The relative major of that concert G flat would be the concert A. In that one, you also have a contrasting major and minor third, and you also have the concert F, which gives you the augmented sound. 
啊。And you can come up with all sorts of ideas from doing this, like bass lines or riffs. So I hope you guys will take the time to experiment with this. This is going to help you a lot. And you'll be doing your part to contribute to that wellspring of creativity that is part of the whole universe. <laughs>